What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is VW Fitness. I do lifestyle and fitness videos every single week. Now, a lot of my videos recently have been pretty much like supplement review videos. I made a post on Instagram the other day because I went out to Target and I picked up this Cathalon uh, waffle maker because I was just like, I've been watching a ton of Parks and Rec. I got you uh, some waffles here, courtesy of JJ's Diner, and chicken soup, courtesy of me. I'll take the waffles. And so I was like, oh, I want waffles. I want a waffle. And I really typically don't eat a lot of like waffles or pancakes or anything like that, but I just was craving it. So I went out and picked up this Cathalon waffle maker. And with that, Ghost had just released their vegan protein pancake batter. So that was great because then I was like, oh, I can make some vegan protein waffles and they're gonna be nutritious, delicious, and obviously way better for you than regular waffles that are cooked with a bunch of butter. So today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made those waffles and I'm gonna take you through the entire process. Pretty much what we're gonna start off with is obviously the protein powder. Like I said, I did the ghost uh, vegan pancake batter. Boom, you can see that here. Um, you're gonna see kind of a 360 here with the with the little guy here. Um, but basically, I'm gonna start the uh, little waffle maker here. You can see it here. That's what it looks like. It's pretty awesome. All I'm gonna do is switch this to, I like it one click away from the dark. Um, as you can kind of see there. And so we'll let that preheat. Once that's ready to cook, the batter should be good to go. So let's get this started now. It's just me obviously, or else I wouldn't have this other camera set up here. Um, I just finished a big workout and I'm starving guys. I, I did a fasted workout. I did uh, a little bit of cardio. I basically just walked back from the gym. So we're gonna start off today with the waffles. So I'm gonna take one scoop here into the little bowl. I'm going to do one and a half scoops just because I plan on eating at least two waffles. So two scoops of that or one and a half scoops, I should say. I don't know why I just said that. Okay. So next up is going to be the flour. I'm going to start with all my dry ingredients pretty much. Uh, I like to add a little bit of flour because it adds that little bit of like brings everything together, holds it all together. Um, and I think it helps with the protein waffle. Obviously you don't have to use the flour. Um, it does add a little bit of some carbs. So one and a half scoops of the flour. Okay. I just use regular all purpose flour. Uh, we're adding a little bit of baking powder. Now, the reason why I use a little baking powder is to help it rise, help it bake. Obviously that's what baking powder is for. And we're basically going to put one teaspoon into the mix here. Zero calories guys, which is awesome. Now I like to measure things out because I think it's important, especially when you're doing, you know, uh, baking things or, or making things um, that have to rise. It's important to be proper on the measurements. So now let's go with the wet ingredients. We're going to do one egg. Now I like to use, this is my trick. I use one egg white rather than one whole egg. Now obviously the whole egg has the yolk, it has the fat, it's gonna help it probably taste a lot better. But if you're trying to go lower calorie and you wanna eat maybe more pancakes, then go with the egg white. Uh, zero fat and three tablespoons is gonna be our one egg. One, two, and again, I like to measure this out because, you know, just guesstimating always ends in trouble. Let me tell you. Okay, so for the sake of uh, obviously the Cathalon not sticking, uh, you could use some sort of spray oil or you could use uh, you know some olive oil, obviously to keep the lower calories. So what I'm gonna do here is actually use the, I can't believe it's not butter spray. And uh, I'm just gonna give a few pumps just so things don't stick. Go ahead and close that back up because we are still preheating. So the other thing with this is obviously we gotta mix it up. So I am going to Get a little water and I'm basically just going to mix this up. Now, obviously you're going to have to add some water and that's where you kind of have to guesstimate. There's not really a right or wrong. It's going to depend on the protein powder that you use. I typically find that I'm going to have to use about half a glass of water to really get the consistency that I'm looking for, which is kind of that, you know, everyone knows kind of a typical pancake batter, uh, liquidy, um, you know, batter. What? So as you can see here, it's still pretty like goopy. It's like cookie dough powder. So we gotta add some more water. Kind of want to just add a little bit and then, you know, mix it up and then kind of see where you're at. Don't add it all at once or else you have to add in more flour, more protein powder and kind of go from there. 
So as you can see here, it's still pretty thick. So I'm gonna add a bit more. Kinda go slow because you never know. You don't want it to spill everywhere. I like to personally just use a fork. I think it's easier. All right, that's kind of more of the consistency I'm looking for. Now, here's the other trick. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, guys. No calories, ton of flavor. I'm gonna add in just basically however much you want, right? Now that's all I did. You could obviously do more, you could do less, you could just not even do the cinnamon. Um, some people like to do a little salt too. Salt's always important, you know, it's kind of one of those seasonings that's pretty much in anything. Um, I personally don't add any salt into this. I think it's good to go as we are good. Let's get this started. Get started. Yeah. Get started. Let's get this started. Ah. We are good to go on the Cafalon. Ooh, yeah, it's going. It's going good. All right, and we're gonna give this a nice pour into here. All right, so I'm just gonna let that cook and it'll actually do all the work for me. I don't have to think about the timing. I don't have to open it up. I'm basically just gonna let that thing do its thing and we're gonna cook up those waffles. Okay, so a lot of you might be asking, wait, what, what is this sitting on the counter? Why is the, I can't believe it's not butter, still sitting on the counter? Well, uh, we're gonna put a little bit more of the butter spray on the pancakes. Uh, because we want to get a little bit of that butter flavor because what's a waffle without butter? Uh, the other thing we have here is the Walden Farms pancake syrup. It's basically a zero calorie pancake syrup. They have a lot of different flavors. They got like a strawberry, I know they have a blueberry, a lot of different kind of flavors of syrups. Uh, and these can help with a lot of flavoring. So, you know, you might be asking yourselves, wait, if it's zero calorie and, you know, how are they making it sweet? It's chemicals, whatever. Uh, you know, yeah, there's some sucralose in here. There's some things to make us think that it's really sweet. Um, it, you know, when you compare this to maple syrup, it's not as thick. It still tastes just the same to me. Uh, you know, I'm kind of accustomed to drinking no calorie or zero calorie drinks. Um, and this is kind of along those same lines. Everything in moderation. I think as long as you're not eating it or using it every single day um, and you're still being able to hit the goals that you have, it's all, all good. All right, guys, it just finished cooking. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh man, those look incredible. Mmm, mm, so good. Okay, now I didn't uh, brush the top of the uh, waffle maker with any oil or anything and they still stuck a little bit, but they came right out, as you guys just saw. I'm gonna spray my, I can't believe it's not butter, on here. I do four or five pumps on each. All right, and I'll just give you guys a quick look. Don't those look awesome? We're gonna take our Walden Farms here. Now, obviously you can use like a lower calorie syrup. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different options here, but obviously for me, I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight before Cancun, you know, um, that's here in two weeks. And um, you know, we don't want to go too crazy. So guys, I'm not really a big sweet person, but I tell you when it comes to waffles and pancakes and all this sort of stuff, oh, I love it. All right, we're gonna bite into these here. Now, as you can see, so there's really nice crust here. You know, you get a little bit of the crispy, Definitely get the cinnamon. Mm. You know, obviously it's not a crispy, fluffy, you know, regular pancake. Like you're trying to mimic something that's filled with fat, a lot more carbs, sugar, all those sort of things. But I would say overall, these are really, really good. Again, guys, really quick, really easy recipe. As you guys saw, it took me about 10, 15 minutes, you know, with the preheating to mix everything up. I got two really big waffles out of uh, one and a half scoops of protein. I'll put the full macros up now and uh, you guys can check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, who doesn't love waffles, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and bell for notification. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.